How you doing? It's quite here in this video. I want to go over the costs of social media and let's have a look at how much it's costing you in terms of time and money. So let's go. All right. So this is my presentation on the cost of social media. Uh, I'll try and keep this very simple, you know, really quick to just digest and you can make your decision on whether social media is a good fit for you. So, so first and foremost, how much is your time worth? I mean, if you've got a job, uh, you know approximately how much your time is worth. And if you think about it, how much is, are you getting paid per hour? Think about it. How much are you being paid per hour? And uh, let's just keep things very simple. Let's say that you're getting paid $50 per hour, $50 per hour, right? So, so I'm getting paid $50 per hour. Fantastic. Now, how much time do you spend on social media? How much time do you spend on social media? So we all know that we check our social media every single day. We check every few minutes, right? And uh, on, on your phone, you probably got this app, which is called Screen Time, where you can give you an indication of how much time you're spending on social media. And when, what I found out is that I actually go on social media probably about between one to three hours per day. That's what it says on my analytics, right? It's really scary. I didn't realize it, but I just do. Five minutes here, five minutes there, five minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes at night. It all adds up, right? So let's keep things really simple. Let's go for two hours per day on social media, on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, whatever it is, right? Two hours per day. Let's have a look. So that's two hours. Okay, that's per day. So the next part is we really want to calculate how many hours and how much time we're spending per day, per month, per year on social media. So going back to uh, the table, let's have a look at this. So we're spending two hours per day, two hours per day on social media, right? So two hours per day. So I'm just going to fire up my trusty calculator. Okay. So two hours per day times by 30 equals 60 hours per month. 60 hours per month times by 12 is equal to 720 hours per year. All right. So two hours per day is equal to 60 hours per month is equal to 720 hours per year. Now let's look at the cost of that. Now we know that we're being paid $50 per hour. Okay. So if it's two hours per day, that means that we're spending $100 per day on social media. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of money. hundred bucks, man. hundred bucks. Okay. So $100 times it by 30 is equal to, you guessed it, $3,000 per month. $100 times by 30 days is equal to $3,000 per month. It's actually pretty scary, isn't it? $100, now let's have a look at it. Times it by 12 is equal to $36,000 per year. Isn't that scary? We are spending two hours per day on social media, which translates to 720 hours per year. If we're getting paid $50 per hour, that's $100 a day that you're spending to just check your social media, okay? That's $3,000 per month, that's $36,000 per year. This is real stuff, guys. Imagine paying someone, imagine you've got $36,000 and I'm gonna pay you $100 just to keep logging on this damn thing. Think about it. And plus, I'm gonna take 720 hours of your time to just go on an app. It gets scary, isn't it? So that's what really is scaring me. So let's go even deeper. Now let's think about it. What would you do with that time and money? So your time, right? 720 hours and the money is $36,000 per year. 720 hours per year, $36,000. What would you do with that money? What can you do with this time? Would you invest in a skill? Of course. I mean, you can invest in your skill. Would you invest in a family with that time? What would you do with that? 720 hours invested into becoming a better husband, becoming a better wife, right? Spending more time with the family, a skill. Uh, what about learning how to invest in real estate? 720 hours is a lot of time to learn how to invest in real estate, isn't it? Right? What about that money? $36,000. That could be a deposit. 
deposit on a house. $36,000 can be travel. Okay, you can travel. You can go anywhere you want at $36,000. I think a private jet, flying a private jet is $10,000. $36,000, you're, you're, you're going around the world. I remember I spent about $17,000 to go around the world. So I don't know about you, but it's it's a lot of money, okay? Um, but I'll, I'll let you think about what you can do with that time and what you can do with that money. It's really, really fascinating. So let's have a look at something else. Okay, so is it really worth it? You're spending 720 hours on social media for likes and follows. Okay, it feels pretty good. It, I'm going to admit, it feels good posting something, someone's liking it, and people following it. It really validates that what you're doing is, is fine. I fell for it. I did it for many years. I feel good when someone likes my stuff. I post stuff out there, and wow, they find my stuff good. So it makes me feel really good. I get that, and I need to go check my likes. I need to go check who's following me. I need to check what's happening. I get it, okay? But is it really worth it? You know, your time. 720 hours hours and thirty six thousand dollars okay and also opportunity seven hundred and twenty hours thirty six thousand dollars a year in opportunity what what about all the opportunity that you're missing out on if you don't increase your skills if you don't become a better person if you know losing weight going to the gym all that stuff that's all opportunity up for grabs you know and if you just spend waste all that time you know on social media and and you're not going after those opportunities it's all being wasted you know is it really worth it is it really worth going after the likes and follows versus that side of the opportunity on, on that side of the seesaw okay think about that is it really really worth it i i, I keep thinking about it is it really worth the likes, the follows, and the so-called friends on social media. Is it really worth it? Think about that. And and finally, and finally, I, will, I would like to leave you with one last slide. So this part is the end. It's also the, the end of the presentation, but it's also the end of your life. So this is actually a, a picture I tried to draw. It's a drawing of a rocking chair. And I always think about this whenever I'm making a decision. And and think about this. Imagine that you're at the end of your life. You're sitting on a porch on a rocking chair. I don't know how old you are, 80, 90, 100, I don't know. But you're old now. You've completed your life. And you're sitting on a rocking chair looking back. And think about it. Is that time you spent on social media, was it worth it? Was it worth all those likes was it worth all those follows was it worth spending that time on social media or would you regret that decision spending all that time on social media one year is 720 hours times by 10 years 10 that's a decade imagine 10 years of social media you know 7000 hours oh my god just i don't even I don't even if you want to work out the calculations go for it but it's really scary you know, 7,000 hours over 10 years, what about 30 years of social media? It's just, it's really scary. Is that decision going to give you regret? Or what if you use that time to do something else with your life? You know, what if you always wanted to start a YouTube channel or you always wanted to start a hobby in in playing piano or something or, or travel or, or learn about something? There's time. Just take it from social media. So my advice to you, from this is that time is the most valuable resource out there like you, you, money you can always go out there and make money and so forth we all know that but you can never get your time back and that is the most dangerous thing with social media is that it takes your time it robs your time okay i might lose money and that's normal but i can always make it back but you can never get your time back all right and when something is messing around with your time you have to be very 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 serious about it if social media is taking up your time, you got to be really critical about this app, all right? Of course, if you're using it for business and everything, be diligent with your time, all right? If, if you can see a return on investment purely from social media where it's really adding value, like really positive value, think about it, okay? But if you're not getting any value from it, right, I, my advice is just stop using social media and use that precious time to do something else that you've always wanted and at the end of it if you're sitting on that rocking chair what's that old person of you going to say to yourself 
spend more time on social media? Should I follow that person? Should I go after likes and follows? Or should I, or am I happy with the life that I've created? So that being said, um, hope you like this uh, video. Hope it wasn't too scary. But unfortunately, um, that's the reality of it. You know, I'm a real, I'm a real person. And, uh, and yeah, you know, I gave up Instagram and, uh, you know, I've become much more productive. I'm able to create these videos like this. If it wasn't for giving up social media, I can't create these type of things. So, um, yeah, I really wanted to share this with you. Hope it's, you know, some motivating, inspiring. And if you don't know where to start, just try and just, um, one week, just don't post anything on social media. Just do that. Delete the app from your phone. You don't have to deactivate your account, but just delete the app from your phone and don't post anything for one week and see how you go. You're going to be itching to go back on social media. Just don't. You're going to get bored and you want to go back on social media. Don't. Don't post anything. Just do it for seven days. See how you go and just compare how you feel with being on social media versus not having it and not posting anything. And I guarantee that it's really going to help you and it's going to change your perspective as well. So uh, I hope you like this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you found value in it. And I've got some more videos on the way. And I uh, hope you see you guys soon. Leave your comments in the YouTube channel below, in, in this video below. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.